I do love a good cuppa, but I've always wondered how much energy it takes to make the perfect cup of tea. Today, we'll be spilling the beans on the energy required for your daily brew. Obviously, you boil the water many different ways. So, Jono, What's the most common way to boil water? Well, firstly, Marcus, the coloured water isn't really my cup of tea. I need something a little bit stronger each morning. And the most common electrical appliance used to boil water is the electric kettle. The trusted thing that's in everybody's house, is it? Mm. Then we have the good old microwave. Oh, the laziest man to eat the water. And don't forget the old school electrical stove, which is represented by a hot plate. And finally, we have the future the induction stove. What's this alien construction? All right then, let's see which of these appliances will reign supreme when it comes to speed and energy efficiency. So Jono, who are you backing for this? Surely it's the microwave. Why? Well, you can boil it directly from your cup and that's how I have my morning coffee every day. But when you take it out, there's a lot of energy in the cup. Well, if you think you're right, who do you think's gonna win? I guess the electric kettle. Well, before we flick on all the switches and run up our electric bill, which of these do you guys think will be the most efficient? Leave your two cents in the comments below. Let, Let the, the curious, curious energy begin. So we've taken 600 milliliters of water at room temperature, and Jono will take the time for how long it takes to get it to boiling point. And then we're gonna use this smart energy meter by TP-Link to measure the wattage our appliances use through an app. If you're interested in our review on this particular smart meter, check out our link in the description below. So, for our first test, the microwave. Huh? Wow, Marcus, you really do live in the past. Wow, that was impressive. What about the rest? Oh, so what about tea and coffee? Oh, what the? Well, <laughs> anyway. Go. We're seeing a power consumption of around 1160. That's about the same as about two washing machines. Oh, wow. Now, it just depends how long it takes. A cup of tea a day keeps the problems away. Well, I think you've got bigger problems there. So this took three minutes and 30 seconds to make our cup of tea with the microwave. And that was about 1,140 watts-ish per second. So Marcus, why don't you tell us the cost? That's about two cents per cup. Well, seems like a bargain to me, but let's give it something to compare it to. Let's see how the good old electrical hot plate goes. Oh, the kettle, it'll take forever. Three. So here we're looking at a consistent consumption at the moment of about 1,330 watts, which is a little bit more than what the microwave did with 1140. Okay, I think that's it. Wow, that's taking a long time. It was about seven minutes and 15 seconds. That's an eternity for a cup of tea. Oh. Honestly, I think this might be one of the most least efficient ways to boil a cup of water. Well, hang on, we've got other ways to go. Well, anyway. why don't you tell us the cost, Marcus? Uh, that's 5.17 cents. Damn, that's more than double the microwave. Well, let's go for the next. Induction. Four. One, go. Oh, sweet crocodile. It draws 1,936 watts. Oh, here we go. It was quite quick. And stop. Two minutes and 10 seconds. That's faster than the hot plate and the microwave. So Marcus, what's the cost? Over 130 seconds. 2.1 cents. A tiny bit more than the microwave. You know what that means? My microwave's still on top. More efficient and safer as well. Yeah, yeah, but give my kettle a go. Okay. One. Ah! Finally, my trusted little kettle. Okay. Ready, set, go. <sighs> what is it? What is it, Marcus? Mm, well, I think it's drawing a little bit much at the beginning, but hopefully it comes down later because we're looking over 2,000 watts. Really, that's more than any of the others. I'm telling you, you're betting on a dead horse. Don't count your chicken till the eggs hatch. Look, it's starting to bubble already. Ooh, that was quick. What's the time? One minute and 14 seconds. Damn. <laughs> so that's 
1.16 cents. That's a clear winner. I think we can tell now we do have a clear cut winner. And as you can see, at an appalling 5.17 cents, the hot plate was clearly in last place. And the futuristic induction stove came in at 2.1 cents in third place. And in second place, we have the microwave, which costs two cents of electricity. And unfortunately for me, but luckily for you, in first place, we have the electric kettle at 1.16 cents. But Marcus, put these in figures the viewers can understand. So guys, if somebody has a cup every day for a year and uses this electric kettle versus somebody, let's say, using the very inefficient hot plate, per year, they will pay around $14 more just for the electricity. Big deal. Yeah, hang on. A, some people have three cups a day, but if 10 million people in Australia all use an older style hot light and now move to an efficient electric kettle, then we're looking at $143 million in savings in electricity. So, we have a saying in Germany, viele kleine Tiere machen auch viel Kot. Oh, of course, if I remember my German correctly, I'm pretty sure that translates to a lot of small animals make a lot of poo too. Correct. So all those little cup of teas, all together, more efficient, lots of poo. If it's a billion people that used to do an inefficient way to heat hot water and move to an efficient way, then that means I can drive an electric car around the world with all those energy savings from a billion people 800,000 times. Wow, so what you're saying is it all adds up. By using electricity efficiently, be it air conditioning or heating or a simple cup of tea, you can contribute to a global shift towards a greener world. That's correct. And you can enjoy your cup of tea guilt-free. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.